We are back. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and uh, it is time for the biggest of big questions with Papa Lunchbox. Today, for Halloween, dressed as Papa Lunchbox. It's true. I am wearing my Papa Lunchbox costume. From right to center, it looks like. <laughs> 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 Hey, Red um, Sensor won. The PG era is in the WWE. They brought in the PG era. I'm sorry. It's, it's interesting that you should mention the PG era, Bobby, oh, because okay. uh, on the pay-per-view on Sunday, uh, we had something happen that was decidedly un-PG, uh, and that was a lot of blood. Mm. Blood, and then more blood, and then additional amounts of blood. Now, it's been speculated that Vince was grumpy but didn't yell at anybody, and you know they didn't get in trouble yes, if they do. were busted open, uh, and it wasn't intentional. They didn't blade or whatever like that, but or whatever. But the, the point is that it was a high-profile match, and there was a breathtaking amount of blood. So my question to you is – have the times changed so much that there's no place for it? Is there a place for blood in wrestling today? Yes. Mm-hmm. If Certainly. it happens naturally. Yeah. No that's, that's it. If, it ha- if it happens to happen in like an instance where somebody botches or something like that, yeah. They should have like, the scar on. Like They should bleed from like – from their head or from their hand or whoever, it shows that they actually – that something happened. It shows mm-hmm. that they're, 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 there's something actually going on. The, the, the Brock Lesnar and I believe Undertaker did too. Uh, mm-hmm. They got it the hard way. They did it the hard way. Uh, so so I, don't, I don't see where all the big, tru- big fuss about it is. I... Uh, Brock Lesnar, I believe, had nine stitches or nine staples in his head after the, after the match. I believe. Um, but if it happens to be something, maybe like, we don't need the attitude error where every match mm-hmm. blades. We don't need, we don't need uh Devon. We don't need somebody to look like Devon's head with all the little marks in his, all the little scrapes in his head from, from blading so much. We don't need that. We, we, it, it's, it looks real when somebody bleeds for real because it's happening. It means something's happening. It means something like uh, something hit someone's head really hard to cause something to do that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if it happens right, if it happens naturally, yes. I'm sorry, I sounded like I was angry there. But now he, yeah, he seems very angry. <laughs> so if it's natural, yes. But if it's artificial, no. Yes. Okay. I think if <clears throat> it helps to tell the story, I think it's okay to bleed. Um, like one of the most famous matches in WWE history where we got the, the t-shirt of Stone Cold with blood like running down his face. Uh, I think the, the shirt was like blood from a stone or something like that. Like that, that match right there was like put Stone Cold on the map almost. You know, it was, it was one of his high profile matches. Um, do you think it would have been the same if he wouldn't have bled? I don't he think. He would have passed out? It, well, yeah, he, he passed, passed out anyways. Out. Yeah, he passed out. So do you I, think it would have been as effective without the blood? Probably, a l- maybe not as much, but it, it'd still be very effective. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't think they should blade on purpose, though. I I, I agree on that. Um, but if it happens, it happens. You know, there's nothing you can really do about it. I don't, I, and I think they're the. I I know they're trying to be safe about everything by sending the doctors in the match. But it kind of does stop the momentum. No, that that's liability purposes. Yeah. Well. But for Brock to shove the, the doctor away. Yeah, that, that might be a little <laughs> much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I find uh, the both blood spots in the Hell in a Cell suspicious. I saw stuff that I think was blading uh, in my visual experience of, of this stuff. Um, I I don't know. It could be, you know. Uh, but but I saw stuff that was like it looks like he's doing a thing, uh, in, in a couple of instances. And well, uh, did, did Brock get did Brock get like busted open when he hit the post? Well, he, he didn't hit the post that hard. He didn't, and, and, and even you know I'm kind of catching up here. Like they commented on how he blocked it, and it looked like he mostly blocked it. 
And, yeah. and, and again, he had his hand, hand up like this, but which is his a... His hand was here, but his the the mark was on his top uh, of his no, head. No, he still, he still could have from yeah. there. I, I think he still could yeah. have from there, from the way he was standing. And, and, and there was another point where I, I, I swear I saw Undertaker when he was down on the ground after taking a couple of hits to the face go like this on his head. Um, I thought I saw. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. And, and I think I think at least, if nothing else, we're only getting this on these high-profile matches, like the highest of high-profile matches, right? Like the Brock Lesnar match. match. I mean, you can't. Brock seems to bleed every match. It seems now, right? Uh, mm-hmm. the, the big ones, at least, you know. And, and I think that definitely enhances it makes it feel real makes it feel legitimate um i don't hate it for that as long as like everybody agrees on it and again you know this article i'm bringing up with uh sb nation is talking about uh how how you know this is foolish in the day of hep c and everything like that but you know (laughs) there's testing and everything like that you know there's still there's still the death matches happening in west virginia and it looks like the referee is ready for like hazmat with the uh, gloves and the and the and the glasses and, and everything like well, that. Well, they're in West Virginia. Yeah, well, West Virginia. I mean, I would wear that to go into West Virginia, anyways. But uh, they don't have podcasts in West Virginia, West, right? I fought in a West Virginia hazmat uh, match. But anyways, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, I I I think we're in a day where no, you don't need it that much. We've been conditioned away from it. You can't get pissed anymore. When Hell in a Cell doesn't have blood, and I think the yeah. Wyatt and Roman match was a perfect example of a very well done and brutal filling match that did not have blood. That's okay, mm-hmm. um, and you really can't anymore. You, you just really can't anymore. And uh, I don't know. I, I I think we're at a stage where that's okay for them, especially that old school mentality, but <coughs> not for basically anybody else. Which is good for these guys coming up, to be quite honest. Someone found the blood codes backstage for the video game. <laughs> exactly. They turned it on. Exactly. Um, and oh, but but did everybody go? I think everybody yeah, went. I, I know. Will, what did you think? LB, what did you think? Uh, um, no. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no, my answer my answer is no. There was a time and a place where blood was appropriate and it was excellent and it was well done and it was all over the place and it was brutal and savage and it enhanced matches that it was in and it, it elevated uh, otherwise mediocre matches. But I think now there are too many talented wrestlers and there is too much uh, good wrestling to need to lean on a crutch – like that, like blading, you can have an uh, incredible, an incredible five star match without introducing blood into it, and it's more of a challenge that way. Um, and it's happening; it's happening all over the place. I think the wrestlers we have on the roster right now are some of the most talented wrestlers mm-hmm. that WWE has ever had, um, and uh, there's a, a number of them who aren't being utilized, and they don't need to blade. Because they enhance the matches in other ways. So, no. I think the time of blood has passed. But what if something... Like, the way I see it is... You guys remember on, I believe, the first take... Or, the first takeover Kevin Owens was on. Mm-hmm. He got busted open first. <laughs> that, was, that was not... And his, <laughs> like that, that was not blading. But it told us like it, it, yeah. it showed how tough that guy is. Well, it's, it's like when Sami Zayn got like legit injured in his match with uh, with with John Cena. It to- yeah. it, it enhanced the story, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it made an even greater story. So so, blading, yes, I, I agree with you, Lunchbox. That blading doesn't need to come back. It needs to stay away in the attitude era with naked Midian and everything else that that went along with it. Um, but. If something happens like that, if something happens like that, that, that like a, a freak accident, like John Cena getting his nose busted open, or or something else very dangerous happening, then yeah, it it, it should tell a story, and it should like it, it should drive that story too. Mm-hmm. Like it shouldn't just be done for 
effect like blading was. Now that's why I, I, that's why I kind of disagree with Bobby when he said that it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be, have been the, the exact same. It, it wouldn't been the same thing if, or it wouldn't be the same if if uh, Stone Cold just passed out. Like it, yes, it would have because it's a submission hold and you pass like people pass out on submission. Holds. Right, it makes it, it makes a way more way more serious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to think yeah, that Brock Lesnar and Undertaker just have baby fingernails that are like right, <laughs> razor sharp, <laughs> and they just couldn't help it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 